Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. And if you can bear it, we're going to do one more uh, video on a Mitchell 306. This one is in beautiful condition. It was brought to me by one of our viewers, Steve. Brought me three of these. And I thought what we would do is just do a quick video on this one that shows you how to take apart and service this reel. I've done a 306 in the past. And uh, quite honestly, we spent a lot of time on that video scraping and cleaning and doing some other things, repairing some broken parts. And uh, I don't anticipate that with this. I think this is a very clean and nice example of it. So we'll just uh, we'll show you if you have one of these, how to take it apart and service it. So we're going to start by removing the spool, removing the handle. And in this case, with the 306, it's very simple. It's one screw to access the downside or the bottom of the reel, which is where the business is. And as you can see inside, it's very nice and clean. And then from there, we're going to take out the axle shaft and remove all the gears and the rotor, and we'll show you how to do that. So we're going to pull the pin that goes into the crosswind block. And as you'll notice, I have a glove on my hand and I have a parts tray where all my pieces and parts go so that I can reassemble uh, them with ease. Crosswind block, once we pull the pin, we can take the axle shaft out and then we can remove the crosswind block. Underneath that then we have the main gear, we have the oscillating gear, and we have uh, the bracket that's holding the oscillating gear inside the main gear. So let's take the bracket off first. And that's the planetary gear system. We can pull the inner gear, the oscillating gear, but you'll notice now we can't get the main gear out because of the uh, pinion gear. So let's go up top. There's two ways to remove the, um, the nut up top here. One could be by a very broad screwdriver. That's also elliptical, so you could use a washer that fits in that slot and just simply turn the counterclockwise to pull that off. <clears throat> Once that is off, you're going to notice we have a little keyway in here in that main uh, um, pinion gear. You uh, don't want to lose that. So what we'll do is we'll pull that off and here's your little keyway. You can see it behind me there. If you lose that, you're in a lot of uh, a world of hurt because it's going to be one of two things. You're either going to be on your hands and knees looking for it, or worse yet, you're going to have lost it and uh, be in trouble for that. Next we want to pull then, we want to pull the pinion gear so that we can get that main gear out. To do that we're going to remove this ramp, and that's the ramp that's going to control the bail trip. It has a little screw and an offset. I'm actually putting these into a second bucket now. And then you'll notice we have this sort of a, a T-shaped peg here. Well, that's not just part of the ramp. That's holding the rest of the mechanism in here. So generally, you can just gently push or pull or pry or whatever. You want to be careful with it. In this case, I'm just going to grab it with the pliers because Usually you can poke them out, but in this case, this one's just being a little stubborn. There we go. So you'll see uh, <clears throat> see how that looks. More importantly, that's holding the gear in. So once you pull that out, everything comes up. Again, watch this this keyway here. You don't want to lose that. When that's up then, we're free on the main gear. We can simply push that through. Just get a Phillips head screwdriver or something that's got a broad base to it. In this case, it's just sliding right out. And now you have the inside of the case. So you want to clean this up. This is a basic uh, servicing. Clean the excess holder grease out of there. Clean it off the back of the main gear. And then you just simply want to reapply. So to reapply, I'm using a uh, fishing reel grease. It's pen precision reel grease. 
The important thing to note here is use real grease. Don't use lithium greases or, or general purpose greases or that. Use the greases that are designed for fishing reels. And we'll just put a little bit on each side there. We're going to check the operation of the anti-reverse while we're at it. The anti-reverse is working fine. We can go reinstall the main gear then. <clears throat> Actually, while I have that out, I'm going to go ahead and put a liberal dose of the fishing wheel grease on the inside as well as on the teeth. And again, this is a beautiful example. That's why I decided to, to just use this as a tutorial. Uh, the other one goes into the same detail, essentially. Okay, that goes back in. Once that's back in, we can go find the, the inner gear here. Here we go. I'll provide the oscillation. And then we're going to grab the collar. I'm not sure what the appropriate term is for that, but we'll get the collar here. And that sits on a bracket, and the oscillating gear sits inside that. Okay, then we can put the, take the pinion gear then. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to put some grease onto the teeth, even though we have the grease in the other. I'm going to put oil into the core. Now if you have a 406, <clears throat> not, the, not the 306, you're going to have bearings in here. Do not pull this shaft. If you pull this shaft, those bearings are going everywhere. It's just kind of an odd setup. So I, by practice, I just generally do not pull that shaft, period. There's a hole in here, which is where that uh, set came from. There's a hole here. You want to align the two. Once you align the two, you can put that piece back in. A little stud if you need to, a gentle tap with a dead blow hammer or something, we'll do that. And then once we do that, we can grab our ramp. And then I just lost my little screw. It's part of the course. Here it is. Things happen. Grab the little screw. I like to keep that right in there. It makes it easier for me to locate the ramp. Align that with the hole in the ramp there, or in the body. And you could use a micro screwdriver for this if you don't uh, have the blade that's fitting it. We got it there. So this reel is a beautiful reel by all nature. It's a beautiful and dependable reel. It's not a ball bearing reel in the, uh, the scheme of things. All right, so we have our, our set pin in there, we have our ramp, we can go ahead and put the, the rotor back on. And when we do that, you want to make sure that that keyway fits into the slot. And once it's in the slot, we can go ahead and put the top on. The nut, and again, you can use either a wide screwdriver. I like to use the metal washer, but either way, that'll work fine. And I like to put the handle on at this point. Because I'm going to have to test for the planetary gear to make sure that we have that correct as well. Spinning nicely. Next up then comes the axle shaft. <clears throat> You'd want to clean off any residual older glue. Glue. <clears throat> Grease. Apply a light coating of new grease, <clears throat> insert through the 
pinion gear. We want to grab the block, the crosswind block. We want to make sure that we have grease inside and on the back of the channel. That block is going to sit Sit on top. <clears throat> There's a little square or rectangle here. You want to get that clear so that you can adjust it. There we go. And we want to sit that on the slot over it. And you want to make sure that you can line your two holes up with this. There's a flat side. The flat side goes to the back. Align your two holes and put the pins in once those holes are aligned. Give it a test. Make sure that it is operating the way it needs to operate. You can see how a planetary gear works. It's not a straight up and down throw. It's, uh, it's a multi-stop along the way. Once that's done, we can grab the bottom. Tighten that up. Now this has got a circular as well. You could use the, the coin or a uh, flat washer there if you wanted to probably easier, you don't have to worry about scratching. And then on our spool, lock the spool in, and that's uh, taking care of that little bit of a wine that we had there. You can put a drop of oil into the handle. Now a lot of folks wonder, you know, should they oil the bale? And sometimes you'll have a line roller that's a burring, and I would say go ahead and do that if that was the case. This bale has got nothing but a spring under here, and this is a dead end over here. You can actually see it. It's a wire that just goes into a hole here held in by a screw. So to me, there's no need to oil that. And this one's functioning just fine. So there you go. If you have 10 minutes and a, uh, and a 306 that's in nice condition like this one is, then uh, that's how you can take apart and tune up the entire reel and uh, get it ready to go fishing again. Uh, if you need to clean up along the way, if you need to replace broken parts, well, I've showed you how to take all of those pieces and parts out so that uh, you can do that. Again, be careful on the two things. Be careful on that keyway, and if you have the 406 model with the bearing, be careful on that, uh, that pinion gear. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Thank you for watching.